Hi guys, welcome back to my XGS guide. Now I'm gonna review Cho. So he is an AoE magical tanker. It is a little bit different from Bosch because he also able to become AoE physical tanker. I compare Cho to Misty despite of tier difference because I want to show you how much difference between those two as a specialized AoE magic tank. Like you can see that Cho's base spirit is very good, 148. It is same as top tier healer. Surprisingly, Misty base spirit is higher than Cho, only two points, but still amazing. Bosh here is the lowest. For spirit boost, Cho wins because he can get 60% spirit. Misty can only get 30% and Bosh 50%. However, there is a big problem for Cho. I'm not sure what Square trying to do here. Cho can get 60% spirit if it equip heavy armor. And I think that's really messed up. Okay. If he equip rope, he gets 30% more defense instead of spirit. In that case, Cho only has 30% spirit boost which is same as Misty who is Four stars so you need to choose here heavy armor is not a bad thing but like you know that heavy armor usually boosts higher defense than spirit so it is more suitable for physical tank than magic tank I don't say this to make Cho become bad okay but really it is just kind of strange design okay I hope the wiki is wrong though typo or something okay for health Cho only gets 20% health, which is also, yeah, kind of low for a tanker. Misty doesn't have any health boost and her base health is so low. So yeah, you will get better survivability than Misty. But against Bosch, Bosch has 40% health boost, which make him better in terms of survivability. The interesting here is Cho has minus 50% chance of being targeted. Actually, this is a good passive because by having lower chance of being targeted, then his magic cover ability will have more chance to be activated. Because remember, the ability can't be triggered if the enemy attacks you directly. Cho has a threshold protection. He gets 100% spirit boost when his health goes below 30%. That's good, okay? But yeah, so Leo make that become useless. Same for defenders disposition. It gives you 50% defense and spirit buff at the beginning of the battle. It is nice, but I think the only situation you need this is when you fight the enemy like Glacial who do preemptive attack. But yeah, like we know, Misty is enough for that battle. He has counter abilities too. The first is Loyal Heart, okay? It is triggered by physical attack, which is kind of strange because he is a magical tank. The effect is nice, but again, I feel Square trying to nerf him or something, okay? Why they make him not able to recover, petrify, and disease? Can't they just simply make the counter into recover all ailments? Okay, the chance is only 30%, so it's not gonna be OP if he able to recover all ailments. Really strange. Cho himself has paralyzed, confused, and petrified resist. The next counter, steady reflex, is nice, but yeah, kind of feel unnecessary too, okay? It gives you 30% damage mitigation for 2 turns, which is nice again, okay? But I think on these days, you always have independent damage mitigation buffer. The defense and spirit break is nice, but again, if break effect is so dangerous for that metal, then I think it is better to bring someone who can give you immunity against it. I don't say those counters are bad, okay? But I really prefer Bosch counter more than Cho, okay? The interesting thing here is he gets 100% more gil and better chance to finding rare items. So it is nice to bring him while farming 
that Chris, okay? He also has 50% dark and light resist. This is very nice, especially as an AOE magical tanker. He can reach 100% dark or light resist easily than other tanks. The rest are pretty standard. MP plus 20%, auto refresh, and yeah, the last thing is 100% faster LB fuel rate. It is very nice because yeah, he has such nice LB. And finally, that's all of his passive. I prefer Bosch passive more than this dog, okay? So enough about stats, let's take a look on its abilities. Let's start from the trademark ability. Spiritual Defender. It has 75% chance to protect all allies from magical attack for 3 turns. The mitigation is random between 50 to 70%. So like you can see, it is exactly the same as Bosch AOE Magical Tanking. So really, nothing special if you already get Bosch. But if you, if you have, if what you have is only Misty, then I can say this skill is huge improvement because Misty Tritalia Wall only has 50% chance and 50% damage mitigation. So it is 20% better. And that's it. It turns out that Cho's AoE tanking is nothing special like what Dazol said on the official video because he said that this stock will take magical damage like nothing. Oh, not true. However, this is only one of his skills. So let's take a look on other abilities. The next unique skill is Courageous Heart. So this one is interesting ability. It will grant you free raise buff. So this means it will become really durable. So after you use that spiritual defender, you can use this and yeah, you really gonna be hard to kill, okay? And the restores health ability is super useful if you don't have Tilit or Ayaka because tanker usually has massive amount of health. So your ordinary healer won't able to heal your tanker to full health but with this he can take care of himself let's say that you only trigger the lowest health recovery but even with that it's still good for example okay if your cho has 10,000 health then 40 percent means 4,000 and i think 6,000 health is manageable for a normal healer triple white kuraga from rosalia easily exceed that number. The auto rise effect is very nice because tanker usually die a lot. By having auto rise, this means it can immediately use spiritual defender again on the next turn. So your party always safe from magical attack. Bosch and Misty are not capable of this, okay, which can create awkward situation when they die because they can't act on the turn they are being resurrected. This skill also works well with his other skill, Guardian's Sacrifice. This will kill Cho and restore others' health to full. That's why I said it is synergized well with Courageous Heart. With Courageous Heart, you will be resurrected again with 80% health, which is quite good for your survivability. However, only use this when it is absolutely necessary. For example, when your healer is dead, sure, by having that courageous heart, you will resurrect it immediately, okay? But remember, your spiritual defender buff is gone on that turn, okay? That means your party gonna be vulnerable against magical attack. Sure, I know, Cho has a chance to protect one ally from magic attack, but that's maybe not enough. Cho also able to support your party very well with its strong encouragement and improved focus. The buffs may be not that useful if you have Soleil, but you will love the side effect. It has stop or charm resist depends on which buff you use. Like you know that you can't make immunity against those status effect so this is the only way to make your party resist against them for stop it may be not that special because many budget heroes able to do the same thing so you can use fun but for charm i can only remember one character okay and 
yeah, charming Kitty Ariana who able to give that charm resist. It is niche, okay, but definitely very nice when needed. The last is LB, okay, his LB. It is pretty good. It is same like Wilhelm's LB, but this one is much, 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 much better because it has health and MP restoration. Again, I'm not sure what Square trying to do here. 5% health recovery, you might as well remove it, okay? The MP restore is very nice though. 55% MP is a lot, okay? This is the AOE tanker you want to use if you use a party full of mages. Because like you know, mage ability costs tons of MP compared to your normal physical attacker. One bad thing about this LB is it takes 30 LB crystals to fill it. Luckily, Cho gets 100% faster LB fill rate. So it helps you a little when filling his LB. You also want to pair Cho with someone who able to give him LB buff fill rate. Okay, Yan is a good example because yeah, you probably get Yan when you're trying to get Cho. Cho also able to cast few white magics. As Tsunaga, maybe not that important because you have that AOE cure ailments, okay? The ailments cured are exactly like your counter, so I don't see any usefulness of Asunaga unless yeah your counter is not triggered. Full life is probably the most useful white magic that it has. So enough about abilities. Let's talk about equipment. Another good thing about Cho is his equipment choice. He able to equip glove weapon. And why is that important? Like you know that Cho's LB is one of his strengths. So you want to use it as many as you can. That way, Able to equip Glove is huge advantage because you able to give him Igaian Arm. No, I'm not kidding. Igaian Arm gives you 100% faster LB fill rate, which is needed. For long time veteran, you can give him Overdrive, which has the same effect. I think Glove is better than Staff, but because Cho also able to cast full life, then it may be worthy to give him holy one for that dual white magic and huge spirit boost after all cho is aoe magical tanker and he needs spirit right the rest of equipment are pretty standard simply focus on his survivability so enough about equipment my conclusion for cho he is very good aoe magical tanker however if you have obtained bosh then I don't think Cho will make huge impact on your party on general situation. In my opinion, Bosch has better tanking capabilities, but Cho has better side skills. That LB reduction, race, auto life will make this dog really really stand out. And because you can't activate both physical and magical AOE tank ability on the same turn, then I can say that yeah, Bosch and him, I mean Bosch and Cho are kind of even, okay? And obviously, Cho is better than Misty. Cho's Trust Master Reward is also unique and very good for any AOE magical tank with good LB. This means the best candidate user for this Trust Master Reward is Cho himself. The health restore counter is nice, but I think Mechanical Spirit is better. Because from the description, Fortune Smile can only be triggered once per turn. Cho is really good when paired with Wilhelm. Okay, Wilhelm can buff all characters with his 100% faster LB fill rate. Both of them have good LB, but because their LB effect only lasts for one turn, by bringing both of them, you can use their LB alternatively. And yeah, of course, because... Cho is AOE magic tank, you can use Wilhelm impregnable to absorb upcoming incoming physical attack. So yeah, really really good pair. I give Cho perfect 10 as an AOE magic tanker. And yeah, pretty good guys. 
And because this dog is so fat, I call him Cho You Fat. Okay, so yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Videos Guide. Bye bye guys.